It is true. The NBA is ready to restart the season. Tomorrow, the Board of Governors are expected to approve a plan that Adrian Wojnarowski outlines here. So the NBA is inviting 22 teams to Orlando, he tweets. He says 13 Western Conference, 9 Eastern Conference, 8 regular season games per team, play in for the 8th seeds, July 31st to October 12th. They will vote tomorrow to ratify the NBA is back. Well, Michael Jordanish line there from Woj. Brian, we've got a few answers here, but this really underlines how difficult the task is ahead for the NBA because you and I have been talking about this for weeks. Every one answer creates three new questions. What are you hearing from teams right now? Yeah, this has been a six or seven week long struggle to get to this point. And in a lot of dark times recently, I have to say this is a, a good moment and we should enjoy this moment and be happy. But I want to prepare the fans of all of these teams for something here. The more details that you're going to hear, the possibility that you're going to be upset is going to grow. Because, <laughs> look, this is not going to be fair. There's 13 teams in the West and nine teams in the East, and we're playing eight games. Guess what? That means other schedules are not going to be as balanced as your teams. You may not like your team's schedule. You may think someone else has a better schedule or a harder schedule or easier. They do. This is just not going to be fair. We're going to see teams that are in made-for-TV matchups that may have uh, a disadvantage and teams that are maybe less popular uh, who aren't as on national TV as much have an advantage. If you're the Memphis Grizzlies, you may have to qualify for the playoffs three times. The 65 games you played before the break, the eight games that you played uh, now in the restart and then possibly in a play-in tournament, is that fair when the Orlando Magic may only have to beat one team in the East? No, it's not fair. And the other thing I want to just point out, let's not forget why we're doing all this. That's for safety. The reason we're all going to one place and the reason we've been off is for safety. We're going to have to get a lot of answers about the protocol. And I'm not talking about who gets to play in what order and who gets to play on what floor. It has to do with how often you get testing. What do you do when you're in the bubble? How safe can you be in your hotel? And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but today Florida had its highest number of new announced positive COVID results in six weeks. We have to make sure that we're healthy and Florida is safe before any of this can happen. Wendy, I totally agree with your concern. I guess as member of the, you know, vice president of the WMBPA, yesterday even, I think I was on a Zoom call between players, our leadership, our union for about six hours. And I think <laughs> what we try to remind our players, whether you're WNBA or NBA players, these are all things that you're going to have to deal with. The bigger picture is, guess what? We've got basketball back. Things will not be fair. Um, we found the safest way to include as many teams as possible, even though some are disadvantaged. And we've gotten the stars back, even if you think about maybe Zion, uh, Damian Lillard. Those were questions that needed to be answered just a few days ago. And we're trying to bring basketball back the best way, even though it's not necessarily the best scenario for it. And that's a good thing to keep reminding teams, remind players, remind fans, Cheney, because I do agree with Brian. There's a lot here that is going to be a little bit arbitrary or certainly feel that way. You've got six teams basically competing for a spot in the West and only two teams competing for that spot in the East. You have a big exchange over we only have eight games. Well, some teams played a different number of games leading up to when we shut down. So if the numbers don't add up or are within the same numbers, at the end of those eight games, does Memphis have an advantage because they played an extra game than New Orleans before the night that Rudy Gobert coughed? It's just there's a lot there trying to figure out how this play-in is going to work that I do think, Brian, we're going to need to remind players over and over, well, you want a basketball back. And the testing, too. Uh, Ramona Shelburne reporting the players are going to get tested every single day, but they're still expected to maintain social distancing protocol inside the bubble. How much do you expect this to become an issue with the Players Association? Yeah, this is one of the things that they've been talking with the players throughout this process. I don't think anything's going to surprise them, um, but their liberties are going to be limited here. And, you know, they are used to being on the road. Um, they are used to being on the road uh, and, and, and having five-star treatment in hotels. And listen, that may not be the case that they have here. A lot of adjustments are going to have to be made. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.